Hey guys, welcome back to the series. We're a little bit late this week on account of the bands video and I, well, I also might have forgotten about this one. <laughs> but we are starting this week with Fen Tiger, who's been overtaken there at the final corner by the OP40. Uh, but he's going to have a much better run. So coming to the finish line, I think this guy might actually think the finish line is a bit earlier than it is. And then realize, oh damn, I haven't finished yet. And then he's going to try and stop him, but it's going to not work out quite how he had hoped. And then in an 8 we've got Mikhail and he has been overtaken by that F1 car, norm, as you would expect. And I think he might have gotten a bit flustered by that and ended up rolling a good few times all on his own accord there. And then coming in at number 7, no like real idiots here, just a lot of luck from Frodo. So this is a very much a stock car racing thing that's about to happen. So if you hadn't guessed there's going to be a little bit of a pile up here as pretty much all the cars in front of him got involved in that and then just as someone thought they were going to get through not so much uh, but Frodo is going to manage to get through and then coming in at number six we've got Looney with an old clip from Forza 6 and he's going to have a terrible start here get down to 10th place before the first corner but you know what it's like first corner at Catalonia National this pretty much always happens and 10th uh, to first just like that as everyone takes themselves up. And then coming in at number 5, we've got some endurance here on Sebring. And this guy's trying to break check, he's like, he's desperate for 10th place. He does not want to lose 10th place. He's going to end up damaging Techno's car here. But as we come into the final corner, he's uh, still determined to get 10th. And going to go for a mad lunge. End up putting himself in the tie wall, love to see that happen. And Techno is going to carry on and finish the race in 10th. And then coming in at 4, if you thought the last dive bomb was a pretty good attempt, this one will take the cake. So as we go into this first corner here at Indianapolis, uh, this guy is going to go for the dive bomb about three times faster than he probably should have and just barely turn before he hit that tire wall. And then coming in at three, we've got Stoner. That guy uh, in the Pontiac has uh, hit the tire wall. I thought he was, well, maybe he thought we were doing the club layout here, but not so much. And then Stoner is going to end up going end over end there that was very uh, actually quite a dramatic crash I must say and then a few other people behind getting caught up in that Stoner is going to go over the top about if I had to guess eight times <laughs> and then coming in at number two we've got KC33 not seen here he is in the car coming up behind there and he's going to get overtaken with the 33 but then he's going to try and punt to get past he's using the literal push to pass and then later on he's lost out at the next corner, he's going to try and ram again with the push to pass but it's not going to happen because there's a wall in the way. And then just to prove he is a normal rammer, he's going to go for a standard attempt here from miles, miles back at this hairpin and end up missing quite dismally actually by about two car lengths there. Uh, so what could possibly top that? Well here we go, we've got Classic Fanatic and the guy up in front, they are battling it out at the end here for the uh, race win and the other guy does have a quite a big penalty so this should be pretty easy for Classic Fanatic as the other guy is going to try and celebrate and then Classic Fanatic is going to celebrate both of them getting it wrong before the line well 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 what we got here look at these two jamokes would you at the end of the day Classic Fanatic is going to end up getting the win but uh, that was a pretty poor show from both of them so in with some bonus clips, but before we get into those, if you enjoy the video and you'd like to leave a comment, why not join the engagement gang like the guys on the screen right now. And if you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And then next up, we have got Thanos as this guy in the Renault has had a slightly poor exit to Ascari and lost out to both the guys here. And car person up in front has actually been featured as well in the series. In a positive way, as this guy, I don't know what he's trying to do, he's trying to make up those places but end up spinning as a result. And then we've got Samster with I would say undoubtedly the best save I've ever seen in Forza. As we come through the right hand here he's gonna get a little bit too much on the curb, end up spinning and he's actually not only gonna manage to keep it out the wall but he's gonna manage to keep the lap clean as well. And then to end up we've got Euro Trash who's just doing some donuts as to celebrate the win and then there you go the Project Cars 2 crash physics just absolutely beautiful. 
But as we look outside, look at those rear tires. Something has gone horribly wrong. They're on sideways. So yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, go and leave a like. If you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much to my patrons whose names you're seeing up here and in the description. Their support is always massively appreciated. And if you'd like to join them and get access to videos early, the link is up here and in the description. And I will see you guys in my next video.